What's up guys, my name is Andy. Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters YouTube channel. Today we're just gonna be running through another custom build. Uh, I've, got, I've got, a, got a little idea up in my sleeve, so let's go pick out the parts, see how it goes. All right guys, so we're in the warehouse now. Uh, I've got a few ideas for parts. Let's go from the top down to the bottom. So start with grips. I would normally go for like the big, long, thick grips, but I remember as a kid I used to ride ODIs because it was really the only option but I haven't ridden them in a while because they were always too short and too thin. ODI just released these new grips called the SLX long necks, literally just the long necks, but the length of what the industry standard is now. And they're still uh, super, super soft, just like the normal ODIs. On these, I did have an idea. I don't know where they are exactly. Throw on this side, James. I'm kind of going for like a hybrid build. So I'm going to try to pick some light parts out and I wasn't gonna pick black tie bars, but we don't have any. But this is the next best thing, the Ethic Tenacity bars. And they're the lightest steel bar on the market. They Honestly, I picked them up earlier when I was looking, thought they were thought they were tie, so not gonna know the difference. So we are gonna run SES on this scooter, and we can because these bars come with a bar adapter for the SES. So we're gonna go with the Tilt, the Tilt Classic in black. Looks amazing, super reliable SES. It's a great choice, just no matter what. And let's see, so we're right here, we'll do forks. I know exactly what forks I want, I just don't know where they are. Wise, I need the wise forks. Those are tilts. <laughs> I don't see them, James. Ha ha! That's the MA, we need the forecast. Wise forecast fork. And there's a reason I picked out the purple grips, because River, <laughs> Just released a new pet, uh, new <laughs> <laughs> River just released a new set of wheels, and they're these beautiful Jordan Clark signatures, purple, purple. It's gonna look great. I'm hyped. I already got the grip tape. I've I've some up my sleeve for the grip tape. So let's do the deck. The deck. I do have an idea of what I want to go with, and like I said, it's gonna be a hybrid. So not. Not gonna be very wide, not gonna be a wide guy. But I need the Charles Padel. Boom. Charles Padel AOS V5. 5.1 inches wide, 22 long. It's the perfect size. So let's go set these down somewhere and then we'll go and grab the rest. Let's see, we got the deck, wheels, fork, SCS, grips, and the bars. You see the headset? That's all we need. Oh, we need one more thing after the headset, James. Doing something special. Let's see, just need the tall stack. Tall, tall stack in black, can't go wrong. Looks great. And I've always personally wanted to run pegs on my scooter. So I'm gonna throw some pegs on it. I need the, hmm, the Nylatrons, where are they? <laughs> so that's it, I've got all my parts and I can't wait to see what they look like on the table. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so we just got back from the warehouse. I have all the parts laid out here that I picked out. I'm just gonna be running through them, tell you my thoughts on them. Starting with the grips. I'm super, super happy with these grips. Uh, they do have a kind of little iridescent silver along with the grip. So super nice. Like I said in the warehouse, they're a little bit longer and that's super appealing to me because I like the long grips. And for the headset, I just went with the typical tilt tall stack. I'm running SCS, so it's always nice to have that little bit of extra height. Uh, that's the reason why I went for that one. And the wheels are the amazing purple River Rapids from Jordan Clark. And the fork, I went for a fork that not a lot of people pick, the Wise Forecast. It's a, one of the European brands, so not too known out in the States, but we're gonna get them known right now. And for the SCS, can't go wrong with the Tilt Classic SCS. It's strong, reliable, and it's light. And for the bars, speaking of light, these are the Tenacity Steel Bars from Ethic. They really decided to go for a lightweight steel. I don't know how they did it, but they're super strong and they're super light. And the deck, I went with the amazing Charles Padel. It's got a ton of stuff written all over it and it's flat black, so it's gonna go with the colorway. And the grip tape is what I'm most hyped on. I went with the Jake Sorensen grip tape, but there's a little cutout in there so I can put a sticker and I'm gonna put, throw some clear grip tape over that sticker. And the pegs, how could I forget the pegs? We're gonna use the Trinity Nylatron pegs. They're plastic pegs with a casing around them that's plastic. The actual peg is in plastic. There's a, there's a casing on it, just like a BMX peg. So that's all the parts and let's get to building it. As normal, I'm gonna start with gripping the deck. These have the square dropouts on the Envy decks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the square dropouts off. I don't personally grip the square dropouts. I like to look better when they're not gripped. So before I throw the grip tape on, you would notice that there's a giant piece missing <laughs> out of the grip tape here. That's because I'm gonna put a sticker 
the grape slushy sticker for my boy Sean. And I have a cutout of clear grip tape around the sticker. And it's the exact size for that hole. It's gonna fit right there. It's gonna look great. There we go. Boom. Head tube done. You gotta be careful. <laughs> I got one shot at this. Amazing. There we go. And this goes right on top of here. I'm hyped on that, James. That looks sick. That looks sick. I'm hyped. So let's get the front built. Okay, we're gonna grease the headset cups as you should always. I'm the customer service representative here, so I'm gonna get a lot of calls on how to put a headset in. I'm walking through real quick. Rounded side, flat side, flat side on the bottom goes on the fork. Slide the fork in, it fits in perfect. On the top, there's also a rounded side and a flat side. The flat side goes on top. You want the flat sides to be facing outwards always. You get a crown race that centers the fork in the head tube, doesn't wiggle around. Then you are totally good to put your top cap on. And that's it. Slide the SCS on there. Hopefully we won't have to stretch it. We don't. Nice, that's a plus. It's always a plus. Get your compression bolt in there. Always grease it so it doesn't get seized. Always grease your bolts, kids. Okay. Drop that guy in there and tighten it up. All right. She's good to go. Get the back wheel on. And you don't grease your brake bolt because you want them to stay tight. Don't grease your brake bolt. There's Loctite on there, so it won't come loose. You need to keep that on there. Always grease your bolts. Okay, let's do it. Get that nice and tight. Amazing. Now we're onto the front. And normally, this is when you would just use this axle, but the pegs we're using come with an axle. Riding on the left, as in the front. Then we use the socket. Get your socket in there. Get those nice and tight. Boom. These look sick. I like the way this is coming out. These bars do come with a stock slit right there. So you need the bar adapter to work in SCS. It literally just slides right in. Now you're good to go with SES. Now the tilts run oversized and standard, so it comes with a clamp shim. You can take that out, and you're just gonna slide your new bars in. Tilt bolts from the clamp come greased, so I'm not gonna take them out and grease them because they have grease on them. And make sure when you're tightening an SES to tighten all the bolts evenly. If you tighten the top one all the way at first, it's gonna break your break your clamp, and you're not gonna have a fun time. You've gotta distribute it evenly throughout the whole clamp. So the rest of the scooter's done. We're just gonna fill the grips on now. Okay. Get your handy dandy air compressor. It's going to get these guys in there. Why does this always happen to me, James? That is it for the grips. Get the bar ends. Gotta make sure the ODI is readable always when you put the bar ends in. That's necessity. Now, okay. we're good. That is a complete scooter. That's what I built. I mean, I'm personally super, super hyped on this. I knew I wanted to do something with the purple. Honestly, didn't expect that to come out as good as it did, but it did. Looks amazing. I really love the little silver 
accents in the purple on the grips. I think it just looks overall really clean and the rivers are a great feeling wheel. So that's my thoughts. Let's go around and see what everybody else in the warehouse thinks. Dalton, what are we thinking? Dude, first things first, I like those pegs, not gonna lie. Right? Austin! <laughs> Where's your scooter at? I think I have it. It was based off Austin's scooter, I'm not gonna lie. He has the wheels, and I thought they looked really good on his. Yeah, it's the bars. The bars are steel. These are steel? Yeah, is Austin in here? Wanna take a look at my scooter? Sick wheels, dude. I have these on my own scooter, so I have to like say I like them. Based off yours. Can I just like have this? Can I just like have I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. This is my new scooter, thank you guys. I don't ride pegs, but I'm gonna take them off, but like. What do you think about the sticker? I think you did a really good job surprisingly cutting out the grip tape. I don't know how you did that. I could definitely not grip, cut grip tape out that clear. Head tube though, it's a completely different story. Oh, oh you killed it. I love the purple. All black with purple. And the new ODI Sick. grips. Extra long SLX. Go buy them right now. All right guys, that was everyone's opinion on the scooter. They all liked it. I think it looks amazing. Again, if you are interested in purchasing the scooter, go ahead and check it out on our website in the link below. And again, thank you guys for watching. Follow our, all of our social medias in the description below. Follow my social media in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.